the point. This movie is showing us that we need to start doing what we want to do and become one and start doing for each other because they're taking everything away from us slowly but surely. What gives you another, like, a, a strong, strict, serious thing, a serious feeling about it is that it's being narrated by Forrest Whitaker and he's one of the most serious guys ever in the world I've actually worked on the movie with. If you watch this and if you don't watch this, just know that it is serious and it is I think it's fair. You're saying these kids win the shoes game. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. You choose that because it's no hope. You and you, you and no hope. General question, though, on me is about uh, the Baron Davis shit. You know what I mean? He put me on and uh, got on there and told my story, man. You know, got a lot of hood cats, man. You know what I mean? Niggas from all kind of hoods, man. We came there and, you know, we just told a story about the streets, man. How we come up, where we come from, man. Because they show us on cops getting handcuffed. And all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? But they don't show the struggles that we, we really go through. You feel me? They don't show us, you know what I mean, doing right. Niggas giving out turkeys and doing that old type of shit, man. You know what I mean? They don't they don't show that. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers get to shooting and you push the little kids down. And certain homies got hit saving kids' lives. And house fires. And motherfuckers running up in there saving people. They don't show the good part. They just show the negative part. You know what I mean? And that ain't fly. So, you know, that's what it is. But, uh... That was a big, it was a big movie though, man. It, it helped me out a lot, especially doing what I'm doing though, you feel me? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Tape on your head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on your head, volume one. That yeah, shit so. smashing right now. Yes. Killing Southern Cali. Everything from here to day go from everywhere. Yeah. So, I know you have two other mixtapes. What was different with this one than the other two that you had? Oh, like this one, it was really all me. I picked the production, all the beats and shit like that is what I did. I did it at my studio and shit. And I had the motherfuckers that I was fucking with come through. You know what I mean? Red Rum came through. Too Swift came through. Young Rail, you know. And uh, Big to the Boy, you feel me? They came through and I already had the beats and shit. And uh, we just did what we did. You feel me? We make history every time. So tell us what it was like working on that movie, man, that uh, Made in America, man. Little cats might remember you from that movie, you oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Baron Davis, shout out to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Much love for that, man, because the nigga needed that uh, exposure, you feel me? The nigga don't really like just getting negative exposure. That's why you don't really see me on these DVDs, really like, fuck everybody, or fuck this, or fuck that. When I speak, nigga, I'm heard, you feel me? But for the most part, nigga trying to really bring this West Coast back, man, and get and get shit really in gear, you know what I mean? And if we do have a do have a general of the West Coast, a king of, of the West Coast, supposedly for the on this rap shit, I feel the motherfucker shit be able to come through and get both sides really ready and have everybody fucking with each other, you know what I mean? We ain't really had that yet, so it ain't no king of the West Coast. Until I see a nigga be able to go to the red be like, okay, y'all, and okay, go to the blue side and get everybody really fucking with each other, bury that beef shit, because beef shit ain't really gonna get a nigga nowhere, like, you know what I mean? It ain't over no real serious shit, just rap shit. Oh, I'm tougher than you. Oh, I'm, my swag is better than yours. Or whatever, it's competition, you know what I mean? But, uh, back to what you You know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's black top, when I say shit like that. What's up, dog? What's happening, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, man, you know, this is what it is, man, in the neighborhood, man, the car wash, man, right here on Rose Clan. Come yeah. through and get your shit done up real quick. You see it? Yeah. See cherry, plum, Pressy, peach, orange, yeah, you nothing but this, you feel me? Oh, 21 and shit, man, that's fucking our stuff right here, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, y'all caught a nigga on a bad day or something, you already know, but I carry him, so I'm coming for you, baby. It ain't a bad day, it's a good day. You know what I'm saying? Got worse hoes pulling up in the world. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is a definition of YG, you feel me? My nigga right here, you feel me? shots, you know, breaking the blood down, you feel me? In a minute, man. Hey, get this money. You're gonna look out for my boy Bandana, too, you know, it's coming. I'm coming. coming in, Rose Trans. We smoke that Kush, man. Oh, we. We only want to carry bags, but everybody know it's over at Dust. I'm shot. We don't buy Dust. Off top, yeah, I mean, Look this is the black top, man, but uh, we finna do a movie, man, I'm just giving you a board with a nigga really, yeah. in my reality, you feel me? Take the rest of the hood out. Off top, we finna build some colors up. What's the bonkin'? Yeah, the bonkin'. Yeah, yeah. East side. Yeah. All right, All right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. 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 That's where we at, right here, man. Peace Street Town, man, y'all know what it is. You feel me? What's up, man? Real poverty, man. Yeah. On my street right here, Orange, you know what I'm saying? 
feel me? Man, that's how we roll through this motherfucker, man. No seatbelts, none of that shit, man, you know? Feel me? Yeah, that's what it's doing, man. We gonna keep it live, no matter what, man. That's what it's doing, man. Get a boy of that. You know? Shit, niggas, this is a tour, niggas. This is a tour right here, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know? This is this yeah. is a real as it gets, you feel me? Real as it gets, bro. Nobody out right now, we just doing other shit, you know. We're gonna just smash through here, new spot, get a boy. She parked right here on Rock Street right here, or it's park, man. You know what I'm saying? The little kids and shit. You know? Big as a motherfucker on this motherfucker, man. She hit a few spots, you know what Okay, yeah, this is where we at, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what's up. So tell me about the camp, man. I'm not here. I see you have uh, your boy Two Swift, Red Rum is on there, Young Rel. Yeah. Young Rel is my relative, man. That nigga back in the pen, man. Second zone case, you know what I mean? Second strike. Two Swift facing 10 years right now. Lil Swift facing hell of time right now. So as you can see all the niggas I really fuck with, they going to jail. So I really like it. It, it, it means a lot to me when I get a nigga and we go knock, knock down some songs and do some, some positive shit with each other, right? So when they gone and shit, they rely on me. They like, damn, man, that, what's up with that shit? And I'm on the phone, holler at them, tell them it's all good and I'm still pushing, you feel me? And that's how I've been, man. Niggas been really pushing for a long time. My first deal was way back. Black Market Records, you know what I mean? Sacramento. I was out there eight months fucking with them trying to get this music shit popping. So I done paid a lot of real dudes from out here paying, paying real dudes. You know what I mean? It didn't, it didn't matter what side of the rag and niggas was on. Niggas was really trying to do the thing. Nigga, I was fucking with it. You feel me? Yeah. Straight up. Who were some of the, like, uh, like your influences or like when you was coming up in the game? Man, when I was coming up, man, I got to say, my, one of my relatives, DJ Train. You feel me? Yeah. One of the die, it was MC Ren DJ. So I used to be a little bitty nigga, man, at, at different little family functions. That nigga swoop up in the black maximum. This one maximum was popping back then, you know what I mean? Nigga, he swoop up with the beat on, playing this new shit, nigga, all the family surround. I'm a young nigga, so he let me get in. So I got a bar of all that. And I'm like, damn, I'm gonna be like this nigga, you feel me? Yeah. And the nigga start writing raps, man, and the next thing you know, shit, shit start popping. I got a homie named E-Rock. He, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? He got a deal, he was signed to Easy e And the uh, same day he signed, like the next day, he got killed. You feel me? Mm. So that was like, man, you know what I mean? That that that, that brought a lot of pain down to, to the homies because we really was pushing for them, you know what I mean? We thought the neighborhood was gonna really do it back then, but you know, time told now, but shit, I'm here right now, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make it happen. Hey, so man, did you did you ever feel that made in America was gonna blow up the way it did, you know? I'm gonna tell you the crazy part, right? Cause I was with my homie Jay Rule, we was at this little spot, man. He had a spot, he was serving, doing his thing. And the big homie had called us. He's like, hey, I'm coming to swoop y'all up. Big homie down one, so I'm gonna come swoop y'all up. A lot of homies was in jail. He would have had a gang of homies on there doing the thing, but a lot of niggas was in jail. It was it was just like crazy time. So me and a homie up in there. So we came through like he said. We hopped in the whip. He took us to the little thing. We had flags and all that. And uh gang of crips there, they was doing their thing. We shook hands, we all so we could cop so we knew each other. Basically, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So we was fucking with each other, you know what I mean? And uh, I seen a little white cat at the camera and shit, and it was some real big setup, you know what I'm saying? So we did our part or whatever, they cashed us out or whatever, you know what I mean? And uh, I, in my mind, I was like, man, something about this movie where they had that shit set up, and that shit might just be big, you feel me? But then, like, months later passed, I wasn't paying no attention to it, wasn't paying no attention to it. Then I seen Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne on YouTube talking about it. We did do another like a, a strong, strict, serious thing, a serious film about it that been narrated about. Damn, then it was in the theaters everywhere. Before I know it, everybody hit my phone like, hey man, I seen you, you did your thing. And I wasn't on there just hella negative or extra out, nigga was just saying some real shit, nigga that goes on in the hood, man, you know what I mean? So, Straight up, you know what I'm saying? It, it, was, it was a real big thing, man. It was a real big thing, man. I appreciate, you know what I mean, the opportunity to do that. I'm looking forward to being in other movies and shit, man, you know? Trying to get an acting thing going on. Yeah, I might have to, yeah, get that little acting shit, man. Uh, get me a movie going on.